ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> Welcome to the uh, report from Tiger Mountain. We're here with uh, David Thrussell at an undisclosed location. It is June 2024, and we're going to talk shit, so stick around and listen. <laughs> Now, I've got an important <laughs> announcement here. Uh, obviously, if you're fans of Jacinda Allen, you've wanted to meet who the new Minister for Men's Change, uh, Behaviour Change is. I'm here with him right now, Mr. David Thrussell. <laughs> That's right. This, uh, your new portfolio, uh -huh. how will you set about changing the behaviour of men? Go. All right. Okay. So I'm going to uh, pull out a quote from one of my role models in life, okay? And that's Kerry Packer. Uh -huh. Okay. Right. <laughs> and uh, if you Kerry's not a role model of yours. You need to really rethink things. Anyway, I have it on good authority. Uh, this is a story that I heard from inside the Murdoch camp. Yes, okay. the Murdoch. Yeah, um, and they, uh, I have it on good authority that they didn't, didn't like the Packers. That there was oh. some rivalry involved. Yeah, I heard that. Anyway, so, uh, you know, you, you probably know, or some of you will know, that Kerry apparently died a couple of times. Okay? Oh, yeah. You know, and... Um, he had a bad ticker and whatever. Yeah, exactly. You know, yep. he, he died a couple of times. And apparently one time he died for an extended period of time. Yep. And uh, they brought him back to life after like 10 minutes or some really oh, long yep, yep, period yep, of time, yep. right? Mm -hmm. And later on, his son, the Archduke <coughs> James, yep, that James. shining light, James Packer, yep, that yep. paragon of goodwill Paragon of humanity, goodwill, yes, yes. Uh, asked him, he asked the old man, he said, so you, you know, you technically died. What was there? What happens, you know, after you die, you know? And Kerry, apparently, I have it on good authority, said, there's nothing there, do whatever the fuck you want. Really? Okay? Yeah. So I'm going to take a leaf out of Kerry's book. Ah! Oh. <laughs> that's my advice. Yes, yes, As yes. Sir. Minister for Men's Behavioural Change. Change. Yeah, that's yes. it. Your new Can portfolio. Can I deputise you, Richard, ah, yes, as the Minister for Women's Behavioural Change? Thank you very much. I, look, yes. I, I, now, I, a lot of I people accept. I accept. That's great. That's very gracious of you. Can I, can no, I give no, a new on. name? No, no. A, a lot of people don't realise. I mean, the Wollstonecroft name, of yes. course, is illustrious, of course. Very well. You know, yeah. yeah, of course. Very well. But a lot of people don't know that the other half of your fan is the Stepford clan. That's it. Of course. You know. Stepford, yes. Yeah, so you come from also a long line of noble Stepfords. I would like know. to change. I'd like to call the minister. I'd like to be the minister for crazy women's behaviour. So that okay. way, all the crazy women are going to try and change their behaviour, which right. is a quixotic task if ever there was one. <laughs> so that's where we're at, ladies and gentlemen. We've got a load of bullshit. And uh, what's going on in June? Well, we've got Israel going crazy, mate. That's, uh, what do you think about that, mate? Uh, now, what was that video you were telling me about? Tell uh, me about that again. Well, somebody sent me a video. It's very unpleasant. I don't recommend you watch it. Somebody sent me a video, which I did watch. I, I generally don't watch these things because I find them too distressing. Um, but I did watch this one where um, the IDF bombed an apartment block in Gaza into the ground into dust, basically. There were scattered survivors in the rubble. Yep. The IDF came in with speakers and were playing the sound of a baby in distress to draw Palestinians, Gazans, out of the rubble and then they had snipers to pick them off as they emerged from the rubble uh, trying to locate the sound of the baby. Assistance. Now that sounds like genocide to me, mate, and uh, that's all caught on tape. And that sounds like something that not even the Nazis would do, mate. And uh, you know, in fact, they didn't do anything like that. So well, how is Israel able to get away with essentially like, they've blown up hospitals, they've said to congregate at a certain place for aid, and then blown those people up? How are they able to get away with this? Like you know, there's no way Putin could do that in Kiev without having all of Europe, um, you know, basically pour into Ukraine. Uh, how are they able to do that and yet still America is funding and most of our Western countries are still sending weapons to Israel? Well, that's a question that I would like to handball mm -hmm. to our dear friends on the left. And how is that? You know, yeah. and ask them how is that Fan forward, I know you're a fan you of the show. <laughs> and, uh, I'd also like to handball it to the, say, people like, for example, the Australian Labor Party, yes. who are ostensibly the yes. government of, of the this left. country yep. at mm -hmm. the moment, ostensibly. Technically they are against what's going on on well, a technical level. Well, you know, they have a long history <coughs> of being um, somewhat uh, you know, vocal in the pro-Palestinian department. They have been, yes, yes. And yet, yes, and they, yes. Get, they and assume yes. government and yep. yet they go very strongly They go silent. Quiet. Why is it? How could it be? Oh, it's a riddle. How could it be yes. that, that, that Israel 
and the Jewish lobby are able to get away with this, mate. Fresh strange, I don't know. So, I and don't also, have any answers, but I'm I'm all ears. Maybe we'll best left that one here, right, just on the top of this uh, little uh, mushroom, and get on to the arrest of Donald Trump. Well, he's been he's been arrested before. He's been charged. <laughs> now he's been convicted. That's funny, doesn't it? He's been yeah. convicted. Yes. So, what um, do you think of the conviction? And will they jail him? What are your thoughts? Okay, so I've got a number of thoughts. Okay, I I do I do think. A, obviously, it appears to me, as a lay person, to be a flagrant miscarriage of justice and politically motivated, yeah, it's, it's, and the kind of thing that you see in banana fair. republics. It's lawfare. Yeah. It's banana republic behaviour. Okay, I get that, but also I'm going to really come strongly out of my closet now. Yep. And I was having a conversation with a, a, an intelligent chap, a, a friend of mine in the states the other day, mm -hmm. and he said something which I thought was very interesting. He's a he's a fan of the wrestling, you know, the wrestling on the on the TV, yeah, yeah, yeah. banging each other ground and stuff. I never really watched that stuff, but I I, sh I probably should have, you know. And he said, "Oh look, Donald Trump is obviously the heel. Mm -hmm. This is the this is the the term he used, the heel." Yeah. Okay. And so apparently, as I said, I, I wasn't a, a wrestling fan, but I probably should have been. But the heel is like the the, the over villain. the top created villain. Yeah, yeah, the, yeah. yeah. The, the caricature, the yeah. comic bad guy, yeah, 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 you know, yeah. who's there because half the crowd will instantly hate him, mm -hmm. and the other half of the crowd will instantly love him yeah, yeah, because yeah. he's the heel, and yeah, yeah, you know yeah. uh, that plays out to all the sorts bad, of, the underdog. Uh, yeah. all, that plays out to all sorts of emotional resonance. Yeah, so you with think people. you're seeing a kind of a wrestling style? So you would say that Trump is probably controlled opposition at least in part. Absolutely. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I, 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 I have to agree you. with my yeah. my friend, and I don't know if he wants to be identified or not. So identified. No, if he's if he's smart, he won't want to be. But um, but I would credit him otherwise. But yeah, the term he used was the heel, yeah. and I, it's all starting, <coughs> it's all <coughs> starting to look like wrestling, pro wrestling to me. I mean, I do think. Allow me some cynicism for a moment. Yeah, sure. Um, that leading up to this election that's yep. coming up yep. in the yep. states, yep. Yep. they need you know people had lost interest in Trump. Yep. You know, yep. I mean, he had. You know, he'd lost the heat, well, they, yeah, you yeah. know, mm -hmm. and they need to get a bit of heat back on him. The heat's back. You know, to, to generate this divide in society mm -hmm. and to have some interest in their now, the media has sort of fake election. The media is up. kind of uh, predicted that Trump might get in. Do you think that's possible? I think whoever controls the election will decide to yep. uh, in, put in place whatever person suits them best. So it's yes. a bit like Stalin said, it's not uh, who casts the vote, it's who counts them. I think it is. Yeah. Uncle, Uncle Joe had a few wisdoms there. Yes. You know, and in his own uh, inimitable way. That's, I don't want to praise him too much on <laughs> yes. the report from Tiger Mountain, but yes, Uncle Joe did have a couple of uh, he did a couple of good things. He so might that, have been on that observation, thing. and he did get rid of Trotsky. You know, which <laughs> in anyone's book is a positive result. Is okay. a positive as many Bolsheviks as he could get rid of. Unfortunately, uh -huh. he himself was a Bolshevik. But anyway, we don't need to get into that. Yes. Uh, it's another can of worms altogether. What else is going on? In, well, in no, June? no. I think it's an interesting topic. I do think, and I think I've said this before on yep. report from Tiger Mountain. But I do. My default position yep. is I do view these elections as kind of a cult theatre. Yeah. You know, and you I do, do think yeah. I think this Trump thing is a way of generating interest and energy and harvesting mm -hmm. people's interest and energy around one of these fake yep. elections. Because mm -hmm. I think otherwise they were possibly going to have a very boring fake election well, that no one was really interested in. My opinion in, is, it's all fake. is that it, it, is, it is real, that they do control Trump to some extent. So if by, for example, when he did get in, they still had their man there, Kushner, mm. who was the Zionist guy who, you know, set the, um, you know, what's it called, the Abraham Accords and things. So they did have somebody there anyway, just in case, as a backup plan. Mm. But to me, Trump is a, a real uh, fly in the ointment, whatever, and... Um, and that, you know, he is some kind of existential threat to these people. And yet, even if he were to get in a second term, I imagine he would do something to upset them. But his ability to, you know, cast off the deep state or whatever, I think, is um, is delusional. He claims he's able to do things like that. He talks about draining the swamp and stuff, but it seems well, from his first... It didn't happen. No, exactly. It didn't. It, did it didn't. Happen. And, um, you know, he talks about releasing the Epstein files. He talks about, you know, he recently said that he would do all that. He would release the full JFK... But, you know, he had, the, he had the opportunity to do that the first time and we didn't get it. So, um, you know, it's it, it's very strange. So, But I, I am to some extent... Uh, uh, it's looking a bit amable. like a bad sequel to me right now. Like yep. the whole thing, yep. you know. Like, I mean, yep. I, I mean 
Well, Joe's looking... Biden's an international embarrassment. I Some mean, of the media are turning on the Trump side, which is interesting. You know, you've noticed that, you know? Well, they must have got a call from headquarters. Yeah, got a so, call from headquarters. You know, uh, yeah, yeah. So what else is going on in the world? Oh, yeah, no, I think it's How's like everything a... up here, mate? How's everything with you? Cold. cold. Very cold. Now, what what, global warming, mate. What's going on? I thought we'd have some lovely, well, nice look, days. I've it's not been so bad investing right in global warming, and I yeah. have to say the returns are very poor they at are. this stage. They you know? are. It's freaking freezing up here. Minus even two, you're saying? Minus three or four. At night. Um, there you go. Yep. Uh, even David before, could use some global warming, though. If you, anyone's yes, got any spare, please. maybe over in Thailand or one yes. of those countries in the Southeast Asia, if you've got the warm weather, send it over here. Please, we're begging warms. you. It's freezing. Anything else uh, you want to touch on there, um, like, uh, like Jeffrey Epstein, you know? No, I certainly don't want to touch on Jeffrey Epstein. <laughs> no. Okay. I don't want to no. go nowhere near no, that guy. No, no, yes. no, 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 no. So it's interesting the way he was connected to what, you know, I mean, you know, do people who hate, um, you know, like, like, you know, what's going on the Palestinians, do they make the connection that, you know, Jeffrey Epstein was kind of a Mossad agent who blackmails Western politicians and Western celebrities to support Israel and to support... That's fake news. No, no, but like that... You know, That's disinformation. Do they make that connection, hey, I'm going to get hold of the Minister for Men's Behaviour Your Change, That's and you. you're going to be in a lot of trouble, right. okay? Hang on. Hang on. Hang on. Hang hang on. on. Have we wired up that now, chair yet? As the Minister <laughs> for Female beha Behaviour Change, I'm going to go for Talk to Dickens <laughs> and get her on to you. So there we go. That is the report for Tiger Mountain. Just a quick 10 minutes, uh, because we've got a few things going on today. And uh, But we're back. We're still here. We're still causing trouble. And, you know, we are the last, you know, two free men in Western civilization. <laughs> well, at least we like to romanticize it that way, don't we? Yeah, and it's not long now. No, not long now. <laughs> in comes the drone strike. Yeah. That's it. Ciao. Thanks, guys.